Hello everyone and welcome to Comment Comeback. This is where I go back to some of my past videos, some of the more controversial ones, and take a look at some of the more interesting comments. So this time we're having a look at some of the comments from my older video, I Hate Bronies, which you should go watch before sitting through all this because you need to understand my whole point of view on it. Now let me just clearly explain, I do not hate bronies despite the title, the misleading title I might add. But what are you going to do? That's just what I name all my videos. You see, when you're making a video about not liking something, you need an actual solid reason for not liking something. In which case, bronies I was having trouble with because ultimately it's just a bunch of people who like a kid's show. I mean, who cares? However, the reason I made the video is that the whole idea behind bronies is just that it's a strange concept. And I, I, I'm struggling to find any sort of reasoning for why this fan base exists and no one can really describe properly as to why they feel the way they do about the show. So let's just get into the comments and have a good old discussion and romp. Part 1, the stupid, the humorous, and the insulting. Now you can't have one of these videos without at least one of these following comments. You should kill you ourself. We love ponies, deal with it. So if you don't understand something, you hate it. Wow. Mister, you just earned an unsubscriber. Fuck you. I'm guessing he didn't watch the show, so... Flags! Wait, so you flagged the video because, you know what, I don't even care about reasoning with YouTube comments. It's like trying to chew gum with your asshole. Impossible. And please, don't prove me wrong on that, I just, I don't want to know. You can dislike, hate the show as much as you want, that's your opinion, but don't hate bronies for liking it. Now this argument is used far too much as far as internet arguments go, and I've got to say, where does that kind of logic end? Um, should I not hate paedophiles for the stuff that they like? I mean, it's a very extreme example, but... It's kind of a flawed bit of logic right there. And I never even said I hate the show, I just said I don't really get why people have fallen in love with it the way they have. Um, duh, you hate everything and I watch My Little Pony because it teaches friendship and love, duh. I'm pretty sure if you rely on My Little Pony to teach you the fundamental basics of friendship and love, you're a broken human being. Disliked, they just simply like the show. What if I just simply liked being a serial killer? Doesn't count as an argument. You dumb bow, you crap. I think he means Dumbo. Y you know what, Preston? You should not be going around YouTube with an avatar like that. Actually, you know, do do it, because it's fucking funny. Fuck bronies, they should all burn in hell, except for the kids. You know, there's having a strong opinion on something, and then there's being a bigot. Typical pink and blue mindset. You can't stop us bronies by hating on us. Deal with it. Well, you're just a typical green and... And red mindset. You can't stop me by hating on me. You deal with it. Humph. I'm angry. Now I'm storming off. Although you probably can't tell because I'm just a voice. Hey look, I'm on your right. Now I'm on your left. That would not have worked if you weren't wearing headphones. You ignorant slag bag. Oh, I don't understand. Well then why don't you spend ten minutes doing some fucking research? Looks like you need to do some research and how to spell the word minutes. Uh -huh. This one's just strange. Oh, I'm 15, but it seems that you have to give it a chance to see a true perspective. And also to say I'm straight and not a faggot, thank you very much. And I'm not fat either. Maybe a bit of a nerd, but not fat. Think before you do. What? I mean, did I accuse people? What? Huh? After doing some further thinking, the ponies aren't the bastards. The ponies are true faggots. Completely. They've turned innocent ponies into crazy shit with this internet fad thing. Search up things, you might find a pony. If we were to go torturous, let's say the ponies have been involved in sexual cartoon pornography. That's right, porn. Now that's what I call a pony raper. What does any of that... What does any of that even mean? The only real reason there are bronies is not because they like the show. No bronies like the show. Now I'm going to stop right there because that's totally untrue. Of course people like the show. Sure, there are those people that ironically like things just to be fucking hipster pricks. But that's not the case here. At least not for the most part. It's because they're all autistic. They're incapable of carrying on normal relationships with other human beings and understanding social norms and somehow gravitate towards anthropomorphic cartoons. Sonic the Hedgehog and My Little Pony. Autistics will obsess over certain things to an extent to which it simply isn't normal. They'll try to rationalise it all day long, but they'll never quite understand why it's not normal. Because they do not possess the mental faculties to do so. Okay, well, I guess it's a well put together comment, but wild accusations and just dumping everyone from a group into one bucket and pissing on it, it never really helps anything. 
Long note, they're weird pedophiles. Actually, I just discovered what a brody is and had a Reddit article, and that's how I knew what the show is. They're pedophil.es. Oh, Jesus Christ. They stole our good shows and stole our taxpayers' money and then filled our porn hub with horse vagina. They had their time to change, but now it's time to take action. Kill all the bronies! I'm really not sure if I should take this one seriously or not, but the fact that My Little Pony exists does not take away anything from literally anything. So I don't know what he's on about. And the most... Uh, of all... You're thinking too hard. You need to know the ponies firsthand and see what they have to deal with. So I have to empathise with cartoon ponies. They fight dragons in one episode, and it's not just ponies, it's an open world with evil dogs and dragons. People like this because it's Lord of the Rings. Nope, not doing it. Part 2. The Good Show Comments So I asked why people like it, and all the response I got was, All I do is like the show, that's it. The reason most people like it is because it's a good show. I mean, there's nothing wrong with liking it, but why can't anyone explain what it is about it that they like? Every single bit of media I absorb, I can ex at least explain why I do like it, but this really baffles me. Then you get lots of these comments of people that have tragic things happen to them, and they that's their reasoning for why they like the show. I mean, sure, if it helps with that, but there are other things apart from My Little Pony that can be helpful in that sort of way. I just, God, it's so weird. It's like it's a disease that spreads through My Little Pony and if you watch it, it just makes you like it for no real reason and you just continuously watch it and it's all a bit of a strange thing. And finally, part three, strange arguments and confusion. I like My Little Pony, but I hate the brony community. Now you're gonna get that. You're gonna get that with anything that's big enough to have a fan base. There are gonna be fans of things that you don't agree with, you don't like, but it's when they form a group so big that they start to overshadow everyone else that enjoys it that things start to get a bit uncomfortable. My friend is a brony and he says that friendship is magic, but it was designed for males and females. He is autistic, by the way, not sure how that's relevant. However, I still don't understand why it's so popular to the male audience. Well, to that I just say, do you really think the people in the boardroom, when they were thinking about My Little Pony reboot, they were all saying, I've got a really good idea. Why don't we specifically tailor this completely based around the idea that 14 to 19 year olds are gonna, 19 year old boys that is, are gonna fucking fall in love with it and it'll become their favourite thing ever and they're gonna even change the word pony into brony because they're boys, be bro, you know, it's gonna make us so much money, yay! Everyone rejoice, we've made the best idea. I'm going too long in this but you get the idea. So someone commented about how they were banned from a Minecraft server for hating on My Little Pony and then this person replied to it with You deserve it, there's no point on hating something that doesn't harm anybody. Now this is another one of those internet arguments that just doesn't work, where it's You're jealous, what have I done to you, it doesn't harm anyone. It just fits in that category of just sort of bullshit filler that you just splurt out when you've got nothing better to say. And have no argument as to why you feel the way you do, so you just... <laughs> Right into the comment boards of everything, everywhere. Just a question, haters. Why have you come to our fandom and tell us that it's shit, tell us we're gay, stupid, blah, 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 blah. How would you react if you're f if we came to your fandom and hated on something you, you enjoy? Well, personally, I would not give two shits because I don't care if people don't like the things I like. I like them, and that's all that matters. Not sure why other people don't have this attitude because it's such an easy one to have. I mean, why do you care so much about what other people think? As long as you like it, that's all that matters. If someone else doesn't like it, who cares? They're the only one missing out. Oh wow, lol. Oh, by the way, COD is aimed for 18 plus guys and little kids are playing it, so that's why there are bronies. But there is one thing, playing an 18 plus game as an underage kid is illegal compared to grown-ups liking magical ponies. It's for three up and the plus could count to 100 is not forbidden. Same as with Pokemon aimed for kids, grown-ups playing it. But good video, by the way. Now this is a weird one to combat without sounding like a huge hypocrite. I don't think comparing it to games with age ratings is quite fair because games are such a different beast to TV and movies because while TV and movies, what the thing is actually about is really important, in a game, it's totally not. It's completely about how the game plays, be it Tetris or Pokemon or COD or whatever. I mean, let's just put it in perspective to something in terms of games. Like, say Cooking Mama became the huge AAA 
every boy is playing it, that would be odd. In the same way that My Little Pony being hugely popular with teenage boys is odd. Is there anything wrong with that? Maybe not. But is it odd? Certainly yes. I mean, that's, that's just what I think about it. I, what, what do you guys think about it? I, it's, a, it's a difficult one to tackle, I think, that, and everyone's going to have a different answer to it. Okay, so I think that's enough of that. There's plenty of comments, um, some good discussion in there. I want to see what you guys think about the, this whole thing. Um, certainly a lot more civil discussion going on compared to what my previous video like this was based on. So I've got to go fast, hint, hint, to work on my next video. As always, thanks for watching. God, I fucked that up. Bye.